This is Donna Cromines, DJ writer with Spoiler TV at DragonCon 2019. And we are honored today to be joined by Marv Wolfman, the writer and creator of Crisis on Infinite Earths, who's graciously agreed to give us a few minutes. Thank you for joining us today, Mr. Wolfman. My pleasure. First of all, what was your reaction on hearing that they were going to do Crisis as a CW crossing? I was blown away. I've been watching the CW shows since Arrow, the very first one. I've seen, I've watched every single episode of every one of the shows, and they do such a good job uh, telling the stories. The, uh, the Arrow show, Supergirl, Flash, all of them are just so wonderful that it's a thrill. I thought it was a thrill to do it, uh, that they were doing it. It's such a massive story. How do you think? What parts of your comic do you think that they are going to be able to incorporate? I, I have to be honest, I don't know. Uh, uh, the comic, you know, every medium is different. And I wrote uh, the story with George Perez for a comic book. Uh, what the guys are doing for TV has got to be very different. But those uh, those people really love the material. They love the ca the characters. They love the stories. It's obvious if you watch the uh, CW shows how much they love the characters. So they're being as straightforward with the characters as they possibly can be, considering that instead of say um, Supergirl's there, there's Arrow there. There's instead of. Uh, um, you know, some Superman from the uh, Crisis episodes, they have a different character there. So they're doing a phenomenal st uh, phenomenal job with it. Uh, and I can't, frankly, I can't wait to see it. Now, is it true that you have been involved in some capacity? I'm, uh, I'm working with Mark uh, uh, Guggenheim on one of the episodes, yes. What is your favorite moment from the story you wrote? From the comic book crisis, there's so many, uh, but I think the strongest moments were certainly with Supergirl, the death of Supergirl, and the death of Flash, because those had to be so carefully handled. I love both of those characters so much, and having to kill them off in many ways was very, very hard, and one of the things that thrilled me was after we killed off uh, uh, Supergirl, people wrote and said that was the best Supergirl appearance they had read, that they really loved that one. So the fact that we were able to make that character resonate so strongly with so many people and that they really liked it, really made it uh, probably one of the most important moments in the entire series. What, uh, what element of the crisis you wrote would you want them to definitely include? Again, since there's a different cast of characters, obviously I had 400 characters I could use and they have only a certain number of characters they could use. I don't have any one specific uh, event uh, that I would like to see done, uh, done by them. I just know that they're going to do it well because I've been loving the, uh, loving the regular CW shows on it. And maybe it was new to me, I did not realize in, in doing some research for this interview, that you had written a second version starring The Flash. What I did was I did a novelization of, they asked me to do a novelization years ago of The Crisis and I decided I didn't want to because I had already done it, the story, it was meant for a comic book and it was meant for a 12-issue series and it was very different. So when they asked me to do the novelization, I said, I, what I want to do is do the story of The Flash through the crisis because he's not in it all that much and then he dies when he finally is and I want to tell the story that you never got to see and uh, that became a love story really with with the flash and his wife it became a story about what happened to him how did it happen to him and how did he actually affect the crisis I'm really really proud of that book well, um, like I said I was surprised to hear about it I had never heard about it I don't. I, I don't think so, but I'm. I couldn't be there. I couldn't be sure. Okay. I, I know this is not fair. You know, you have 400 characters to play with in crisis. Um, I 
places. Did you have a favorite here? Or what, perhaps when you enjoy writing more than others? When you're writing a book like The Crisis, uh, there are so many characters from your childhood that you just love to write because I got, at, I got the chance at, in one project to write every one of my favorite characters. My all-time favorite character is Superman, and I actually held him back the most. Uh, so what I was trying to do was tell a story to show people how good the DC Universe was, and I got to use, you know, The Flash, I got to use Adam Strange, I got to use Supergirl, I got to use a lot of characters that I wasn't writing. At the time, I was writing Superman, so uh, I didn't have to feature him that much in the book. But uh, I got a chance to write almost everybody I loved. Great. One final question. Um, since this is going to be such an iconic television crossover, yeah. uh, do you think you might want to follow in, say, the great Stan Lee's footsteps and make a cameo appearance in the United States? Stan, Stan uh, and I worked for Stan and really liked him. I worked for him for many, many years and really like him. But Stan is very outgoing. I'm not. And um, Stan loved acting. In fact, at one point wanted to be an actor before the comics really became big. He, he's very, very strong with that and he's very outgoing. Uh, if they did feature me, I would hope they would certainly feature me with George, since he was the co-creator of Crisis, George Perez, and that would be a lot of fun, but that's really up to them. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and the like button as well, and of course, leave us a comment. And why not check out some of the latest TV promos and sneak peeks on our channel?